Yo, what it do, man? Bracy Skills Clinic's back with episode two of Spurs Talk. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, man. I appreciate all the support that, you know, you guys have been giving from the first episode. Uh, this is episode two. I'm going to get right into it. I'm not going to waste no time, man. And this episode is about Malachi Branham. Um, and why I believe he's probably going to be the most underrated piece to this rebuild. Um, you, usually when you see, you know, the rebuild, obviously everybody's talking about Victor Wimbiama right now, rightfully so. Um, you see them talk about him and then they'll go into like Keldon and Vassell. They'll even talk about Jeremy Sohan. Uh, you'll even hear, you know, Trey Jones, where does Trey Jones stand? But I don't, I don't hear enough people talk about Malachi Branham. And I actually think if Malachi Branham, you know, didn't start at the beginning of the season, kind of in and out the G League in Austin, I think Branham could have had a chance to possibly make one of those all NBA teams. I thought he still did enough to maybe squeeze maybe the second team, but you know, whatever. But he did finish the gear really, really well for the Spurs, man. And I think he's going to be a major, major part of this rebuild. I do not think people are talking about him enough. He is really, really good. I don't know if he's going to be a starter. Maybe he's going to be, you know, in that six-man role. I mean, that, that remains to be seen. It depends on how the team is built and, you know, who do we, you know, sign this offseason and go after. But I'm really high on Branham. I think his, I think his, his skill set is going to fit really, really well with some of our core guys. I mean, I think he's going to be a core guy, core guy as well, but just when you look at, you know, who our top two or three players are, you know, you're going to go Wimbiama, obviously, and Keldon and Vassell. You'll even throw in Sohan. But having a Branham who can handle the ball, excellent, excellent pick and roll player, can shoot the lights out, natural score, that's that's going to be the guy that that's, that has a chance to, to have a breakout season for us. Um, I'm not saying he's going to be a superstar or anything like that, but I just think when people look at, you know, our rebuild and they look at, you know, the key guys that everybody's talking about, Brandon is going to be in that mix. Brandon is going to be in that mix, man. Um, I actually wouldn't mind him starting. I know they're probably going to go with Trey Jones, but I, I, I do think with our roster of how it currently stands right now, this is assuming they don't make any big splashes or big time free agent moves. I actually think our best five, like best, best five, is with Malachi Brenham out there with Jeremy Sohan, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, and Victor Wimbiama. That is a very explosive five. I talked about it a little bit last video, but I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. Brandon can play point if you need to play point because he's an excellent pick and roll player. Brandon can play off the ball because he's an excellent shooter. I can see him coming off pin downs and flares, curls. I can see him doing everything that a shooter does, like a Middleton type. Um, so having a guy like that, when obviously Victor Wimbiyama is going to get all the attention and obviously Jeremy Sohan is going to be your versatile piece. You got Vassell and Keldon, they're going to be looking to score. Having having Brandon out there, man, I, I'm, I'm loving how this thing is developing. There's still a lot of work to be done because all of this doesn't work if the players don't develop. I think we got to keep that in mind. Like These are just names right now. We know the potential, but everybody has to hit that potential. Everybody has to stay healthy. And guys have to stay in the lab and they have to continue to get better. But just looking at, you know, our track record of developing players, I'm loving how this is shaping up. Even if the Spurs do not go get a a, a Jordan Clarkson or a Austin Reeves or make a trade for a Damian Lillard, which I don't think they're going to do. Um, even if they stay put, I would not mind that because I really believe in some of the young guys we have. Also, like Blake Wesley. I think Wesley's going to be the... Wesley's probably the biggest question mark out of everyone. I, I hate that he got hurt because I think if he would have been out there more during that stretch, especially when we were losing all those games and guys in and out, I think Wesley missed a lot of valuable time last year. So that is unfortunate. But I think I think Wesley is, is in a tough spot. I know he's young, but he's in a tough spot because... 
it, it really comes down to who they bring in. I think if the Spurs don't bring in another veteran guard, I would feel really good about where the Spurs feel about Blake Wesley. I, I like his athleticism. I just don't know where he's going to be in a rotation right now. I, I, I can see him getting some time, but I don't know where he's going to lie. I can't say he's going to be a sixth man or a starter. I just don't know where he's going to be at in the rotation. He's obviously talented, but I, I'm really – that's probably out of everybody. Every, everybody's going to want to see Wimbyama in the summer league. I don't think we're going to see much of Wimbyama, to be quite honest with you. I think we'll see a little bit of Brandon. I don't think we'll see much of Sohan either in the summer league. I think Blake Wesley is the guy that I'm looking at out of everybody as somebody that I want to see a lot of in the summer league and see how he comes out, see how he performs. Him and also uh, Dominic Barlow. Like, the Spurs have so many young pieces that have major upsides. Like, all this, the, the, all these guys have to do is just develop. There's going to be a lot of guys to choose from um, from the Spurs roster, but just getting back to the to ma the major topic, man. Malachi Branham is somebody that Spurs fans needs to be talking about a little bit more in this rebuild. Okay, he's he's gonna ha he's I think he's gonna have a breakout season, even if he doesn't start. I think he's gonna put up double digit numbers for us off the bench. I think he's gonna be phenomenal for us, man. So I just don't sleep on Malachi Branham. That's the name of this video, man. I'm gonna name it that. Don't sleep on Malachi Brandon. Okay, he's going to be a major part for us. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We out.